Hello, hello, my friends. We are kicking off the week with another candle review. Today, we're going to be talking about Homeworks Salted Soft Pretzel. Now, before we get into this full review, I did want to disclose two things. First, my children are out for summer break, at least my younger two kids are. So even though I am using my microphone, if you happen to pick up on any background noise, it is because my children are home and they live here and they're excited about being on summer break. So you might hear a little bit of background, background noise. Second, I did want to let you guys know that this candle was sent to me from Slacken & Co. I am a brand ambassador. However, if you have been here with me any length of time, in fact, you can probably just go back two weeks ago um, and see evidence that just because a candle is sent to me in PR, it does not always necess necessitate that um, or mean that I will give a glowing review of it. So this candle was launched last week. I want to say it was May 15th that this became available on the Slatkin & Co website. It is part of the Carnival collection. There are five fragrances offered in this collection. This uh, Carnival set was initially launched in 2023. And there, there are some fragrances that have been brought back in this year's version of it. So I know that Funnel Cake, Cotton Candy and Berry Snow Cone have returned, but this year they added uh, two new fragrances. They added this Salted Soft Pretzel and the Bing Cherry Cola. I also have that candle in my hands and I will likely be doing a dedicated review on that one later on this week for you guys. So um, I'm a little bit bummed that they removed the, what was it? The was it the caramel popcorn fragrance? Um, because that one was very similar to Bath and Body Works Summer Boardwalk. And they also didn't bring back, I think, the chocolate waffle cone. So there were a couple of fragrances that got swapped out, but this is one of the newer ones and I figured you guys might want some thoughts about it. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, I'm clearing my throat. It's getting a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit scratchy. We've got a ton of Palo Verde tree pollen all over my back patio. In fact, I'm going to go clean that off after I film this review for you guys. So apologies if my voice is a little bit scratchier than normal. All right, so the fragrance notes that are listed on the bottom of this candle are fresh baked sourdough, sea salt, fennel, and buttermilk. My pour date of this specific candle is December 19th, 2023. I will go ahead and list off the top, middle, and bottom notes that are listed on the Slack & Co website. However, I am just gonna let you guys know don't read into those too much because truthfully, the four notes that are listed on the bottom of the candle are really more accurate for what the candle is uh, representative of than all of the fragrance notes that are listed here. So the top notes listed are salt, apple, bergamot, coffee. Mid notes, marine, clove, fennel, base notes of caramel, vanilla, amber, and wood. Now I'm going to tell you, if you look at the, that mixture of fragrance notes, you're going to get a whole hodgepodge here and be really confused about what this candle is going to smell like, which is why I'm doing this review for you guys. So that way you guys know what I am smelling. Okay. What does my nose smell here? This is one of those candles that upon cold sniff, when I first received this and I took off the lid, I was like, huh, I don't really know what to think about this. This does definitely have a sweet and savory uh, fragrance profile to it. So I will tell you that when this candle is burning, especially the, uh, the first burn I had on this candle, the fragrance note that I actually detected the most was fennel. Now, for those of you who don't know what fennel is, um, I've talked about this in uh, my recent candle chat, as well as when I talked about uh, this carnival collection. Fennel, the fragrance of fennel is, um, I believe it's a seed, to be honest with you guys. I'm not exactly I know it's from a plant. Um, fennel has almost a maple syrup type of fragrance to it. In fact, I joked that um, when I was in the phase of life, when I was having babies, there is a, um, a tea called mother's milk, which a lot of uh, pregnant or not pregnant, but um, lactating mothers use to increase their milk supply for their infants. And um, everybody warned me, they said, be careful if you drink too much of it, you might start to smell like maple syrup. That was one of the side effects of it. And I will tell you that upon first burn, that was the fragrance note that stood out to me. In fact, I lit it up in the morning, my teenage daughter came out and she's like, it kind of smells like syrup, but not really out here. She's like, what are you burning? And I said, oh, it's this new um, salted soft pretzel fragrance. And she's like, I like it. She's like, I like it, but it kind of reminds me of fall. And I was like, yes, it does. Now I will 
tell you that after about an hour into the burn, that fresh baked sourdough, kind of that more bready consistency, you get the saltiness as well from like a sea salt, um, definitely starts to come through. This fragrance, uh, this gourmand scent, I would say is one that I, the more that I burn it, the more that I really like it. In fact, I think that I might pick up another one of these candles. Um, now that being said, me being a seasonal burner, I will tell you that I think this entire carnival collection, well, I haven't tried all of them. I've tried this one, the, um, the Bing Cherry Cola, and um, I've had funnel cake last year. Funnel cake is a fragrance that is very much in the same realm as hot cider donut, uh, sugared beignets, all of those. Um, but this fragrance to me, does make me think that this is more of a summer to fall transitional fragrance because it doesn't quite scream all of the coconut and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, coconut and pineapple and all of the fruity accords that I'm generally craving in the earlier part of summer. But there is something about this that has me like, oh yeah, I could see myself burning this towards the end of the summer when I am tired of those fragrances, but I'm not yet quite ready for all of the apple and the pumpkin. Um, this is really well done, you guys. In terms of that buttermilk fragrance there, buttermilk um, kind of, can kind of have like a sour lactonic you know, thought with it, I guess. I'm not, de I'm not detecting anything sour or even lactonic in here. So I feel like you can kind of throw out that fragrance. Um, the fresh baked sourdough is there for sure. In fact, I actually bake a lot of sourdough for my family and um, I do get that good dense bready note. This is not like a light yeasty bread. It's definitely very much in accordance with what you would think of um, freshly baked pretzels. So, um, I really like this scent. Now, when I, when I smell it, like if somebody were to walk into your home, do I think that they would initially think, Oh, she's baking pretzels in her oven? No. And I think that's because of that fennel note. Now, that being said, you guys, everybody's interpretation of what they smell um, from a pretzel could be different, you know, any kind of baked good. Some people really hone in on, you know, frosting accords, whereas some people really like more of the fragrance of um, a baked good while it's in the oven baking. So we've got a whole variety here of what of what people could come to expect. But I will tell you guys that I really, really like this fragrance. If that fennel note is scaring you off because you find maple to be cloying, I will tell you, don't, don't let it, don't let it scare you off because this is very much in the realm of a fragrance. Um, if you like a balance of sweet and savory, I think that you will really, really like this one. It's not overly cloying sweet. And like I said, that fragrance is kind of like the one that comes out first, but as you burn the candle, I would say about an hour in, you definitely start to detect more of that bready goodness. So I took a really long time explaining the fragrance there for you guys, so I apologize for that. But um, I do feel like this is kind of a complex fragrance for really what it's named. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle. So I have had this candle currently lit for about two and a half hours. I do not trim my homework's wicks. Um, I know that that is a controversial take and you can see a little bit of wick residue in the wax pool. However, it is not impacting the fragrance. I do extinguish my candles with a wick dipper, but you can see that they're staying upright. They're not leaning too hard. Uh, this candle was not in a hurricane today and it pulled out completely without any issue. So that is a good thing. I will tell you guys that strength and throw on this one, um, if you want to know the dimensions of my home and how I come to the conclusion that I do, please check the description box down below because that has all of the information about the square footage of my home, what style of home, how old it is, all of that information. Um, I will tell you strength and throw on this one, I'm gonna give it a solid seven without a hurricane on it. When I place a hurricane, um, it does increase that strength and, st strength and throw just a little bit more. Um, I will tell you that the first two burns were not as strong as the last three that I have done. I have really noticed that on the third burn was when I really started to notice 
that the projection of this candle picked up quite a bit. Um, and I've been very happy with it, you guys. Um, I still am the type of person that if I don't place a hurricane on my candle, it's usually going to be in one of the smaller rooms of my house, like a bedroom. But if I want to place it in my living room, which is the, the largest room of the house and it has the highest ceilings, um, I typically will place a hurricane on it. But yeah, it'll go up to about like an eight, eight and a half if I put a hurricane on it. But otherwise it's a solid, it's a solid medium high. Um, strength and throw. I would get the throw a little bit more than the actual strength of the candle. Now, this is a candle that you definitely smell. Like, I mean, it, it's not hidden. It's not anything that you're really having to sniff the air and be like, oh, I can't smell it. Like, no, you definitely smell it, but it's not going to smack you in the face, which I do think is appropriate based on the fact that that fennel, like I said, some people could, um, if it has maple syrup type of qualities in it, some people could think that that would be cloying, but I don't find it to be that. So performance has been really good for me. You guys, you can see that I'm almost at the halfway point. This fragrance is one. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier that I actually am really contemplating purchasing another one because I do think that I will enjoy burning this um, as a fall to summer transitional scent. Fragrances that I am currently burning with it, if you are somebody who likes candle combinations, I've been burning um, the homework, or not ho um, homeworks, uh, Bath and Body Works, their new Roasted Sesame. This pairs really nicely with that fragrance. I've also been pairing it with Kringle Candles Fresh Baked Bread. I also see this one going really nicely. If you happen to like Kringle Candles Reserve, they're sweet and savory. I think that this candle would go nicely with that one as well. They're all kind of in that bready, um, gourmand type of category where you've got a, a balance, a really good balance of sweet and savory. So uh, we have Memorial Day coming up this weekend. I don't have any word on any good sales or anything. Um, they've kind of been mum on that. I do have a discount code with Slatkin & Co. It is Katie's Joyful Life. It will save you 15% on orders over $40. I do anticipate that candles will likely be on sale for Memorial Day weekend, but I don't I don't know what that will be. Um, I've also talked to my contact over there and they have clarified you guys that the issue that they have, um, I know when these candles were released, I don't know if the promotion's still going on, but when these candles were released last week, there was a buy one, get one 40% off. And I know a lot of you guys are frustrated sometimes that you cannot combine um, affiliate codes or like extra discount codes with the BOGO offer. That really doesn't have anything to do with anything that Slack and Co has Put into place it has to do with the um i want to say it's like shop pay or shopify whoever is kind of like the third party who manages the billing or the actual checkout process for them they don't have a mechanism in there that um allows uh, for whatever reason there's just no mechanism in there that allows for that now you usually can use your rewards code like a rewards discount you can usually apply to a bogo offer but in terms of affiliate discount codes you usually cannot so just giving some clarification there in case you guys have ever been frustrated by that i know i've been frustrated by it but i'm just kind of passing on that information for all of you but like i said if these candles are ever just like strike out like you know they reduce the candle say to 22 dollars or 25 dollars you can then go ahead and use my discount code that is an affiliate code that is eligible for commission so only use that if you're comfortable so I always aim to get these reviews a little bit shorter for you guys, but you guys know me. I like to be very thorough with them and get you guys all of the information. And sometimes that means that these videos run a little bit long. Let me know in the comment box down below, did you purchase this one last week when it was launched? Is this one that is on your radar? Um, did you find this review helpful? I hope you guys did. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Please share your experience with any of these candles in the comment section down below. Just remain. Eh, remain respectful of myself and others within our community. I would love for you to join my channel if you're just coming across it for the first time. I am Katie. I like to talk about all things candles here on my channel. So if you like candle content, please consider subscribing to my channel. That is free, you guys, by the way. A subscription to any of your favorite content creators on YouTube is free. Um, you just have to have a YouTube account. If you have Gmail already, that's really easy to sign up for that. But subscribing to a channel does not cost you anything. So um, I did want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.